off by Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. Let's do this. Before we get started with all the coverage over here at the current of the Pacific, right across, they have a parking structure right here. Once you get in there, it's a little chaotic because there's some events usually going down over here in downtown Long Beach. So it gets kind of packed. But after validation, parking is only eight bucks. And it's just a quick walk to the current of the Pacific. Wow. Got a lot to do today. Just walked in. Oh, I think they're doing a presentation over there. Let's check out the presentation. All right, let's go. Uh, we just got a map, and this is like super helpful because we're lost. <laughs> you get a general idea of how different animals eat. If you look at the mouth of it, you know, look at where it is, what kind of teeth it has, and, and so you'll notice that our leopard sharks here, they have these little teeth that are sharp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at the penguins. Look at the penguins! <laughs> oh! What do you think, Max and Rooney? <laughs> what do you think so far, Karma of the Pacific? Three sea lions and four Pacific Harbor seals, so seven individuals here. And as they get paired up, I'll tell you all what the rest of things that make a mammal a mammal. So we got live birth, we have hair, uh, we have um, producing milk for our young, breathing air, oh. and our warm blooded. Those are things that make a mammal a mammal. Those are the traits we have in common with our marine mammals here. So they're going to get set up into their little stations. We are seeing some action from our California sea lions. So we can start with them. They are the larger, kind of solid brown colored animals. And this is Jimmy, we have Parker coming up on the beach right here. He is our largest and oldest sea lion. And the reason that I can tell him apart is because he has a nice big bump on his forehead. And for adult male sea lions, they develop a, what this bump called a sagittal crest that actually allows for more muscle attachment and a stronger bite uh, for him to protect his territory out in the natural open. So that brown color. ripples and things like that, uh, they help break up the seal's figure. Now our California seals have a solid brown color because, well, our water here off our coast is pretty murky. It allows it to blend into that murky water through the water. And they'll use those back flippers to fan them out just like the, a paddle and push themselves with their back flippers. Now, we've seen a little bit of some really high intensity uh, and agility from our California seal answers because they have those really, really strong front flippers. Now if you notice on the right hand side of the beach, you can see Parker kind of resting on his front flippers. He needs to be able to rest on those things, uh, on those flippers, in order to support his big weight on that land. And so uh, on land, those strong front flippers in uh, conjunction with the, their back flippers uh, act as like, almost like feet of a horse. They can run or gallop and jump on land. They're really, really agile but in line, but also in the water too. They use those strong front flippers to push themselves uh, just like we use our full arm to push ourselves. And they use those back flippers to steer our body when they're on land. You can see uh, one of those sea lines up against the glass, rotating those back flippers underneath their body to support their weight across all four limbs because, well, Parker, at his head, needs to get up to 900 pounds. So he needs to be able to support his weight across all four limbs. Now, in the water, those rotating hips allow our animals to turn on a dime in order to be really, really agile and athletic swimmers. I think he wanted to explain it. Well, he was talking about how that movement was called porpoising. Uh, it's because of reminiscent of a porpoise or a dolphin. They jump out of the water in that rainbow arch motion. They do that because they experience the same drag and resistance in the water as we with dolphins out there in their natural habitat because they all eat the same thing. Dolphins, seals, seal lions eat that schooling fish and squid. So that porpoising motion that we're seeing right there, uh, you can say they don't do it on accident. They do it on porpoise. Thank you, yes. Uh, but our seals and sea lions are doing relatively well out there in the natural habitat. We heard some of that barking or roaring from our sea lions. That gives them their name. Have we heard any noise from our seals? No, we have not. Seals, uh, luckily for you, have been working on my seal impression. Uh, who wants to hear my seal impression? Okay. All right. I've been working on this for quite a while. This is what a seal sounds like. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. Uh, that was it. Uh, seals. Instead of looking like a cute little 
different kind of baby and are very different. Shark egg in your hand, what kind of shark it is. If you've studied or you do Google Lens or something like that. So if anybody wants to see a shark egg, Karen is so one of our volunteers. She's got the red red. shirt on and she's walking around with a shark egg that you can check out. And there is one, at least one, in the pool. Whoa. That sh so that shark egg is, was laid by a bamboo shark. And the reason we're okay with passing it around, you know, <laughs> it isn't for... Wow, did you see that? Why did they play? come around and around? Yeah. So we have blue spotted rays. This is crazy when they're right in front of you. Yeah. Fortunately for us, they name sharks and rays after what they back. look like. Oh, the What do you think yeah, so far? I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh. And it's over 400 pounds. They come out of nowhere. So we have our largest sharks, our largest fish back here. Um, honeycomb ray. It's not the most entertaining because it usually just hangs out in that back corner. The cow. But yeah, so we got um, the honeycomb. We also have a, uh, a mangrove ray. Where did the magnets feather? Nemo. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Outside over here by the Shark Lagoon, they got some merch. Little penguins. Very cute. They also got some turtles. <laughs> got some cool. What is this? Join the shark side. <laughs> I love it. That's freaking cool. That one's 19 bucks. Close in the dark. Here comes trouble. Here we got some really cool magnets. I love their merch. Cram of the Pacific has fire merch. <laughs> you having fun over there, Max Rooney? <laughs> Made our way back to the first floor. We're gonna do Southern California exhibit. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> Are they fishing? Oh, is that above us? There's Max's best friend. <laughs> That's my spirit animal over there. Which one? In the corner. Oh, right there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. Leave me alone. Aww. Oh. What are you doing, bro? It's like... So much food? These are marine meadows.
What an incredible time we had over here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. There's actually way more to do than anything we could do today. Uh, we're with little Max Serini. He already fell asleep, so it's kind of one of those things. We just got to call it a day. But overall, I highly recommend you make your way out here to Aquarium of the Pacific over here in Long Beach. Uh, the experience is a lot of fun. They have lots of areas to eat, to sit down in the shade, just relax. And there's a lot of uh, like fun zones, I guess you could call it, where kids have all these interactive things to do uh, from like, like uh, the screens, the actual fishes where you could touch, and then they had like playgrounds. So there's just a lot to do for adults and the kids. And just overall, have a good time out here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching Five Fires YouTube. Smash that like button, and thank you for supporting the fire. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Hey.